Good morning. Hi, I'm Lou Pompilio, and this is my show, La Canzona Cucina. I love that name. Marzo no può che chiove, che nato può che stracqua. Torna chiove, chiove, e le sole con l'acqua. Today we're going to make roasted peppers. Okay, we start this whole thing with peppers. These peppers. These are red peppers. They roast up really nicely and they peel very easily. The thing to do is take the knife, cut the end off, and then pull this over here. So you take the same pepper I had before. You don't even have to wash it because the peel peels off when you roast it. Cut the end off, and I do it again. I've got a few more to make. I'll show you with these. Once you cut the end off, I open this up, and I take the insides out. Just like that. Really nice. See? Just like that. It's nice, it's clean inside, there's nothing in it. And I do the same thing with this one. And the same thing with this one. Okay. Now, this is the hard part. Wasn't that difficult? I thought so too. And I preheated my oven to 425 degrees. Now, I take this, I put it in here. And I wait, and about 40 minutes later it'll be done. Now the next thing I need to do is use parsley, because I need parsley for this. And the parsley for this is this, Italian flat leaf parsley. It tastes really good, it smells good, and it's good for your breath. But who cares when you call it? Okay, I got some right here, I'm going to chop it up. My knife. And I gotta hold this for later. After the peppers are all done, you gotta put this in because it's really important. Without parsley, it's not the same thing. Good. That's done also. Now we're ready for that. Now I'm gonna piece of garlic, and I gotta put some olive oil in. This is frying This is my frying pan. This is it. I'm gonna put some olive oil in it, put some garlic, a little bit of hot pepper, and cook it until it still tastes nice. This is my Italian olive oil. That's my Italian parsley. I told you that before. These are Italian peppers, not enough. But it looks good. <laughs> and, like I said, about a quarter cup of olive oil makes me happy. I got to put with my garlic containers right here. Let's take this out. It's difficult sometimes. Ah, there it is, I got it out. I put it over here, and like we did the last time, we put the knife on top of it, hit it, and the skin comes right off. Okay, and I take it, and I cut it up, get that out. Okay, then I take it, and I'll put it in here, turn the heat on. Okay, good. Now I got a little bit of pepper. That's it. We'll take a break. Since I had an opportunity to do this, I figured I'd do it for you now. This is called chiove. Now in Neapolitan, Napoletan, which is what I am, chiove means rain. In Italian, the word is piove, but Napoletan is called chiove. That's what I do. That's how this one goes. And this is my buddy Anthony. Tu stai morena canta, su un nuovo giorno no, che chiove, 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 e se fa fredda l'aria, e se fa copugil, e tu tenta su cella, tu sulla canta amore. Tu si a ganaria, chi si tu si l'amore, tu si l'amore, capur con l'amore, cante canzone nuova, Gesù, ma come
come chioma tu con marammarona canta nannina nonna per non giurire l'incroce che vuoi sentire sta voce sta voce solitaria che ha dinte notte di anni e tu come la santa tu solo sole amore chi si tu si agraria chi si tu si l'amore tu si l'amore che pure quando amore cante canzone nuova Gesù ma come chiama Gesù ma come chiama Gesù ma come chiama thank you ok so we're back again now to finish these roasted peppers Naturally, I put the peppers in the oven before I started doing this so it wouldn't take forever to get this finished. So I roasted them, I took them out, and I put them in this brown paper bag. Now, the paper bag is great because it lets you sear it, and then you let it sit for maybe like a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and the peppers cool down. Because trying to take the skin off when the pepper's hot, you burn your hands. So now, I've got these in here for a while, and the peppers are right here. See? That's what they look like. Now we take them, and we have to peel the skins off. And the skins come off nice and easy. You don't have to kill yourself trying to peel these things off all the time. Here we go. Skin comes off nice and easily. And we do it again. That's what happens, they get hot, and the heat gets trapped inside. And as you cool them off, the skin just kind of peels away and pulls away and then you have to do is peel it off. So now it's all done. The pepper's all been peeled. Now we take the pepper and we're going to cut it in strips with our fingers. Just take it and pull it down a strip like this. Take this one, put it in here too. So I'm finishing the last pepper, tearing it up and putting it in strips like this over here. This is the garbage now. So I just wrap this up and put it in the garbage. Okay. And I'll put the paint someplace else. Out of the way. Okay. There's the peppers all done. Here's the parsley all done. Something when you add everything to everything. Let me wash my hands off. Like this, nice like that. Get my knife out. Get the little boy. Add the parsley to the peppers. Which is fine. It's enough parsley. Then I'll add my olive oil with the garlic. And I'll add pepper to this. I like using my fingers. See, it doesn't look bad. I wash my hands and everything. I was a good boy today. <laughs> there you go. And take my spoon. Mix this all up. Get nice like this. Now the garlic is in there. The parsley's in there. Everything's in there. But we need salt and pepper. So I take my salt shaker. This is salt in case you didn't know. It's the white stuff. Comes in a box. Okay. Take it and sprinkle some salt on it. Because peppers can take salt. So. Go a little bit at a time, but usually these peppers can take a lot of salt, so it doesn't hurt. And is that regular or sea salt? This is uh, kosher salt. I like the way kosher salt works. And see, this is my kosher salt box. It says kosher salt. And I use this a lot. And a little bit of black pepper, because black pepper makes it taste good. Also, not too much, just a touch. On a bog, on a bog, a little by little. I mix this up again. Now it's all mixed up and let it sit like another five minutes because it's a great idea to let it sit because the flavors kind of blend together. You know, you just put it together and it's kind of, hey, it's not bad. But if it sits for a few minutes, you know, the olive oil gets into the peppers and the peppers get into the olive oil and everything tastes good. Now Darren's here, so I got to put some stuff on for Darren because if I don't, he gets really angry. Brr. You hear that? That's the kind of noise you want to hear. So I'm going to put this in his dish. I'm going to put a little bit in my dish. Then we're going to set up the camera so you can watch us eat. Ha! Bon appetit, let's try and see how good it is. Salud. Salud. Mmm. <laughs> Excellent. So listen, yeah. enjoy yourself, have a good time. I hope you use the recipes. And if you do, just drop me a line and let me know. I'll talk to you later on. Ciao and salud. <laughs>